Hi, this is John for Outstanding Poker. This is a quick video showing you how to get the street by street hood working uh, on Poker Stars using Holder Manager 2. Now, the first thing we have to do is click on these options and make sure that the dealer messages uh, is set to everything. Right, okay, and then now we need Holder Manager 2. I think you can just about fit on that, right? So then, what we need to do then is Go to the HUD options. Choose that Poker Stars 6 1. Go to Site Options. And I'll choose my uh, default HUD for Poker Stars. What we need to do now is we need to uh, configure these. So the first thing we need to do is uh, find poker stars in this list. Got poker stars there. We also need to make sure this live tracking is on, so we need to make sure it's tracking for poker stars. So you check that box next. Poker stars. See, it's going to be a six max table. Games, Holden, no limit, pot limit. And then now we set the different hoods that we're going to be using for each street. Okay. So for the pre-flop street, <coughs> or in between hands, we're going to have the default hood working. So with that one. And then we need a hood for flop. And there's already some default ones like flop turn river. So I'll just choose this flop one. I haven't configured these so you have to do a uh, be a good idea to find out which uh, flop stats you want on your flop hood. So we go to the turn and here we're choosing the turn. Same with the river. Okay, that's already set. But that, that's how you choose it. It's very very basic, very simple. Okay. I think that's pretty much it. That's how simple it is. Fly. Okay, and then I'm going to head back to the table. I'm just going to pause the video while I find the table. Okay, I've joined a table. I'm just involved in this hand here, and it started off. We're on the six max. I think this is the six max hood, which is your standard pre flop hood, and it should change as we uh move throughout the hand as Holder Manager 2 will be reading reading the dealer messages to find out where we are at in the hand. So I'm just hold that. Let's see if we can get a hand that goes into some more post flop play. Hope that won't take too long. I'll just then see if I can get to a post flop. I'll just call this raise and then we'll see if the actual hood changes. Because obviously if we get to the flop, then the hood should change to the flop hood. That call. And as you can see, it's changed the flop hood. The the individual hoods need configuring, so there's more stats on there. And if I if he bets again, I'm probably gonna have to pull, but if I did call then it'll change the turn. It's only a bit. It's about half pop. Mm. I'll just make a loose call for the purpose of this video. So now we're on to the turn as well. And uh, so all the stats have changed. I'll make a oh, it's, it's a short stack to me, so I better be careful. Yeah. If we had a deep stack, I could have made a move. But I think you've seen enough of that to, to be able to tell that it is actually working correctly. So like I said, all it needs doing now uh, would be to configure the hoods for the flop, turn and river and then you can see it could be a pretty cool feature to use because obviously there's quite a lot of stats that you need to be using when you're playing or you'd like to be using and you have to use quite a lot of pop-ups sometimes and uh, the stats that you need to look at usually change when you get to different streets so having this feature would be pretty cool. Flop. My hand. OK, 
playing horribly anyway at the moment. I'm just trying to get into some cross play. Right? Ooh, interesting. Might suck out on this guy if you play. So yeah, and uh, hopefully now it's changed to the river. So yeah, at least we got to see it on all three streets. And uh, yeah, I'll make a horrible bluff now. And then we'll call that video. <laughs> Let's see if he calls and then I'll stop the video. So yeah, so I hope that uh, explained well enough how to use this um, street by street code. Okay, bye.